What up beautiful people and this is your favorite entertainment show Tea Time on Floss TV Africa where we drink and spill tea while keeping you informed on the biggest entertainment news, celebrity gossip and of course what's trending in the entertainment world. My name is Efeolua Oshinke and I've got my co-anchor with me, the knowledgeable Nimi Dekombi. Hey Ife. What's good? good? How you been? Been I a minute. Been. Huh? been a minute. It's oh, been yeah. a while yeah, you've been. been. You've been there, my seeing you've been doing a lot of other stuff. Yes, of course, I've been busy with other stuff. Like, I'm also chilling because of the, you know, coronavirus. Chilling in lockdown. Yes, now just like vibing, catching crews with, you know, different people. Different people. Yeah, you so heard that? That's how Exclusive. Really. I told you we spilled tea here. You know <laughs> what I mean? She's been chilling with different people. Yes, now, like my friends, you know. People that I just met, you know, that kind of stuff. I saw, you, I saw, I, I see that you've been look, you're looking forward to um, Fourth of May. To Fourth of May? Mm. Not really, actually. Okay. I'm scared. Your post says differently. Your WhatsApp <laughs> status, but it's all good. All right, so let's get into um, straight into the business of the day. Nollywood actor and best friend to Icock Bonner. Alex Kubo says he is in the <laughs> he's in the government and no one should expect entertainers to take up this role by feeding the masses. The actor for the said he is suffering as well. Mm -hmm. mm, I what's think your I, take on I, I think I really resonate with what he said. I think um when this coronavirus pandemic started, when it was still like a play, mm. quote unquote, when it had not really got into Nigeria and it had got into some countries and celebrities were stepping up, mm. they were um, donating relief packages to different people. You know, we commended them. Well, like that is, you know, a, a great initiative. Yeah. But now this is, um, this is April. We are going to May. If people, if these celebrities, if at the beginning of the pandemic, they were willing to give, they were, you know, enthusiastic to help mm -hmm. other people. When they look at the reality of things right now, they look at the fact that we are, in, we are going to May now, and we don't know yet when this pandemic is going to be over. There's a difference. There will be a difference in the level of enthusiasm that they would have towards giving or mm. towards doing charitable things. The truth is, for a lot of us, when we look at celebrities, because of the the um, kind of image that they've already given to us, we tend to think project. that, or the image they project, we tend to think that, you know, they have a lot of money, they have, you know, all of these resources at hand. Some of them do, and some of them don't really have those resources. But some of them, some of the um, things that we see that they have, they are sponsored through sponsorships, through brand, being mm. a brand ambassador. Mm. So now, if you look at the situation of things, you realize that they are not really having those jobs anymore because everybody is on a lockdown. The economy is being impacted by this mm. pandemic. So there's a level to the amount of money that they are receiving or to the amount of money that they have received before that they could have given out, they could have used it to do giveaways or to help people here and there. There is, you know, that money is not really coming in as much, especially for entertainers, because he was talking specifically about entertainers. I'm not talking about businesses, like huge um, mega corporations that are worth multi billion dollars you can't you can't really compare them to celebrities who are even relying on the you know whatever it is that they get the sponsorships that they get from these people so i feel like people need to try to understand these celebrities they're not getting money from trees they are working and right now if you're an actor if you're a musician if you're an entertainer you're not doing anything you're at home mm -hmm. Even the ones that they do on the IG Live, they're not getting money from it. They're just trying to entertain us, trying to, you know, let everybody feel happy. So people should try to understand. People should try to put themselves in their shoes. They're not getting money from anywhere. Some of these um, sponsorships, that they're, they've stopped. So I understand where it's coming from, and I hope that people will be able to realize that fine fingers are not equal, but the truth is we are all being affected by this. So I hope people can be more understanding. Well said. Like I told you, she's very knowledgeable. And um, uh, about my take on this one, I feel like, okay, I think our problem with celebrities is that they have a level of influence and they are not making, they are not utilizing that influence right now in the sense that even if you don't have to give to nobody there are ways you can talk about the government and then you'll impact somebody there are ways you're influential you know people use your platform to bring people together to create this avenue for people to be fed do you understand for people to be attended to like but we see a lot of them milton 
this period, this torrid moment that is very critical in our lives. 2020 is a year we will never get back. Exactly. And it's a year that will always go down in the books of history. Like, regardless of how we look at it, 2020. I see myself, like, 60 years from now telling my kids, let me tell you a story <laughs> in the year 2020. Yeah, definitely. You get me? Like... But it's been very crazy for each and every one of us. So in as much as you don't have, we're not asking you, go out there and feed somebody. We understand that everybody's struggling this mm -hmm. moment. But what can you do with your influence? Um, That's the question yes. for every entertainer out there. We're not saying take up the role of the government. We're just saying make use of your platform i'm surprised they're actually saying this because the truth is uh, this is a conversation that we've always had mm -hmm. where, where whenever we have you know social issues or whenever we have you know issues generally in nigeria we always complain about the fact that our celebrities are not speaking enough they are not being vocal mm -hmm. about certain issues this is not this is not just mm -hmm. a corona time yeah. this is something that has always happened for as long as i can remember and even in the times where you see some celebrities speak up about some certain issues sometimes it comes from a place of you know that they are very very disconnected mm -hmm. from the rea realities of the average Nigerian. So I'm not really expecting them to, you know, use their platforms to speak. Some of them have used their platforms like to David speak. Like David O, big shout out to, to David O for giving <laughs> yeah, up for the um, Dolce and Gabbana video and yes, um, the, the proceeds will be going to yeah. um, research for COVID-19. So big shout out to David O on yeah, that. Some one. of them have actually, you know, used their platform properly, but the truth is not all of them will. And it's not because they don't want to. It's not because I feel like some of them, they just really can't. Come on, man. When, not when your boy, um, your best friend has been Called out by Tory Lanez. Come I on. Come on, like I said, okay, look at this. Um, I was reading a story today about a a woman. She's well to do in Nigeria. Like when if you look at in, when you want to like count the people who are well to do in Nigeria, this woman is well to do. Mm. And currently now she's she has passed away because she had um she was supposed to go for a surgery, but mm. she wasn't able to go for the surgery mm. because of COVID-19. Mm. And I'm just trying, I'm, I'm raising this example to let you know that there are different effects. There are different places that this coronavirus pandemic is affecting different people. Yeah. So you don't know at, you, you it, don't it, know the you level. Know, for instance, if I should come up and I, I would say, okay, because this has happened before, there was a celebrity that, you know, used this platform to say, okay, people donate. And people insulted him because they were like, have you donated? Mm. So imagine if I know I don't have, Mm. But now I'm going on my platform to say, oh, everybody, please donate towards this cause. People are surely going to lambast me and say that, oh, you are a celebrity. Why are you not? You should be the one. Go and talk to your friends. Don't do this. Because it has happened before. Kim Kardashian has been under fire. Kylie Jenner has mm. been under fire. I'm just giving examples of some, you know, um, celebrities abroad who have been under fire just because of the asked people to donate or they said okay let me use my platform you mm. know to to educate people about covid 19 and make people aware of what other people are going through people are always going to ask you what have you done so it's better for some of them to just keep quiet you know that they cannot do anything so it might not be easy for them to you know use their platform to you know raise money so that's what i'm saying Amazing. that i understand where it's coming from the truth is you can't compare nigerian celebrities to american celebrities Definitely. a c-list actor in America, okay. it's earning way more. Shaking the table. <laughs> it's earning way more than some of our Are you saying Alexa Kubo is a silly actor? But no. don't answer, you answer Come behind. Come um, <laughs> You answer behind the screen. So, um, Kelet Bemodbek Krona, Adekunle Gold, has advised his fans to continue social distancing from toxic people even after the lockdown. The singer took to Twitter to write, when this is all done, remember to continue social distancing from people that drain your energy. Mm -hmm. I think it's sound advice. Very sound, very, very, very sound advice because it's, it's not even after COVID-19 for the rest of your life True. stay away from toxic people if yeah. you ask me but let me get your take on this um, one. I, 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 for me this message is kind of like personal because mm. I'm, I'm the kind of person that I struggle a lot mm. with because I'm, I'm such a people pleaser so it's very hard for me to like draw boundary lines I told you like, spill tea, like, <laughs> people pleaser. because it's very hard for me to like draw boundary lines so even if i know that somebody is draining my energy even if i know that this person is is a, is a toxic person and i don't want this person in my space mm. it's very very hard for me to social distance from that person it's very hard for me to draw the boundary i'm like okay no i don't want this person in my space and i think that it's also um something that affects women in nigeria I'm sorry that I'm bringing this, I'm turning this to, I'm not making it a gender thing, it affects all no, no, genders, no, but I'm saying that you, as a woman you. in Nigeria, it becomes more personal. Because when you are growing up in the kind of society that we've grown up, grown up in, you are told to basically like accept a lot anything of that anything that comes you. your way. So even things that are disrespectful, 
you learn to tolerate it. Even when you know that you should draw the line and be like, okay, you know what, I cannot take this. I need to move away from this person. You are told, you know, okay, I was watching a video and um, it was talking about domestic violence. I don't know if you saw this video. It has been like making waves on social media. Mm -hmm. I was talking about domestic violence and how it starts with disrespect. Maybe um, it started from a young girl who was pushed by a boy mm -hmm. and then the mother told her that it is because he likes you. That is why he pushed you. So for a lot of us, we've grown up in that kind of environment where we are told to tolerate some certain things. But when we, gre when we get older, we start to unlearn some of those things and we start to realize that, okay, you know what, the there has to be boundary lines. For your own mental health, for your to keep yourself sane, you just need to know when to draw the line and be like, I don't want some people in my life. I'm very, very sorry. You might come off as a nice person to other people, but to me, you are draining my energy. You are mm. giving me negative vibes. Mm. People need, it is a... Especially as you go older, it is a need. You need to be able to make your circle smaller and just social, socially distance yourself sure. from people who drain your energy and are just not adding positivity to your life. Mm. I feel like it's a lesson. And, and, and I want to say kudos to Adekule Good because Adekule Good, during this period, I feel like he has been really spinning some encouraging, you know, mm -hmm. like he has been dropping some really, really, you know, good points and all that. So I feel like this is something that not just, people should not just, Take it as a now thing just during this you know coronavirus time even after there are some lessons that we learned during this period that has to go with us after 2020 after the coronavirus pandemic is over and yeah. i think this is one of one of its protect your space protect your protect your mental sanity. health space protect your sanity social distance from people who are toxic and give you ne negative vibes simple yeah i know those moments might be difficult and a lot of people might find it extremely difficult yeah. to do certain things like maybe due to your busy schedule you've been able to cut off some people but now that you're at home boredom and all of that exactly. you are reconnecting with some exactly. people that you found yourself like maybe a few months back you were mm. you were not communicating with them but you're mm. back in communication with such people yeah. but you need to know that as always you can forgive but yeah. never forget mm -hmm. so if you still have the memory of there and you know that this person is toxic to my life this person disturbs my sanity yeah. this person this encroaches on my personal space this person doesn't give me the liberty this person doesn't make me the best i can be mm -hmm. it is only best you draw the line like you rightly said draw the line know that okay we can be friends from a distance hi hello how you doing you good you're safe hi bye <laughs> but afterwards what is next do you want to come around me do you want mm -hmm. to come and gist with me do you want to feel like you're my friend once again no if you hurt my feelings once you always hurt my feelings mm -hmm. like they say a leopard never changes the sport right mm -hmm. so at the end of the day know what is best for you even after covid19 and i think mm -hmm. that's going to be our advice on tea time to everyone watching out there protect your space protect your sanity and stay away from toxic people yeah. but we need to go on a quick break and tea time we'll be right back stay with us Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I just see them every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Minimal mm. Akpala music is for mature-minded people. Like I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! <laughs> <laughs> sleeping early, sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back, and this is Tio Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Moving on to the next story, the area father and human rights activist Charlie Boy has revealed the reason deaths don't scare him. He wrote, Why I go fear when I know say nobody comes out of this life alive? When I know that there is nothing on the other side to fear, I do not seek that. Death will find us wherever, however. So let's seek the road we make, which makes death a fulfillment. It's better to die laughing than to live each moment for this Nigeria in fear. Mm. Very sound advice because yeah. it's um, YOLO is one of my <sighs> principles of living, which is you only live once. Yeah. So it's always advisable to live your best life. But um, 
leaving the road to fulfillment when you die, knowing that you have fulfilled your dreams when you die, is the most important thing, in my True. opinion. But carry on. Yeah, um, I, I think what he said is very sound. Another thing is that in Nigeria, one thing I've noticed is we don't really like to talk about debts. Mm, we talk scared. about debts, but we don't talk about debts. We just like, we don't Around really, everybody talks about debt, like it's not going to happen to me. It's not going to happen to nobody me. Won't buy, nobody wants won't to die. die. <laughs> I know that nobody wants to die, but the truth is death is inevitable. The only mm. thing that we cannot control is how we are going to die. Mm. You know, that is beyond our control. But I feel like people need to start having this conversation and stop treating death like death is something that only happens to people they don't like. Or death is something that only happens to people that are far off from us. The truth is death happens. Death is going to happen to, to us. Each and every so one each and every one of us. We just don't know when from it is dust going to happen. To dust <laughs> we don't we just know return. when it is going to happen. So I feel like um Charlie boy is one person I know that is not really shy to talk about controversial topics or to talk about things that Nigerians may be shy away from because it's it's like I said before it's something that we rarely ever talk about yeah. so what he has said is actually very sound a lot of people you know put away the thought of death and they live in fear for the rest of their life and I'm like the truth is you better live your life now you are sure of today you are not very sure of tomorrow and Nigeria yeah. is a country where there is a high rate of insecurity anything can kill you. Nigeria is a True place that. that you are praying to God. God, as I'm going out today, please let me come back safe. Even so, the police, <laughs> the know, people that are supposed to protect you so will kill you. Country, for a country that has such a high rate of insecurity and a huge rate, of, a huge death rate, like you can go out mm. today and you might not come back. Mm. You know, I feel like people really shy away from death and they put it off like as if it's something that's not going to happen and it affects their choices because a lot of people don't even live for themselves. You know, it was saying something that why we would rather um, die in laughter. Mm -hmm. than die in fear and know that you're fulfilled and, 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 and it was specific Come on. about the fact that dying in fear in this country yeah in this country <laughs> because <laughs> this country is sickening enough yeah for you to now live to now have fear to the True. problem so it's just better to just live your life to the fullest and just know yeah. that okay when i go at least i did it all yeah and you see there's a difference between people who acknowledge the fact that death is inevitable mm. and those who are still putting it off because when you acknowledge the fact that death is inevitable you your choices in life are more defined you know that okay you know what tomorrow may not come tomorrow may come let me just do this now people who have already accepted that they are more eager to take risks in life they don't shy away you know from taking risks because they're like okay i'll rather die a fulfilled person i'd rather die knowing mm. that i did what i wanted to do than die being afraid of what if i did this and this happened and what if i did not do it you know i feel like this is a conversation that we need to have and i don't know why people shy away from it the people treat mm. the topic like as if no ah if you talk about don't talk about it can you like, no the truth is it is inevitable and people need to start that's why even people that's why a lot of nigerians even have insurance because we just have this culture of like I'm trying not, to reject you know so i feel like people need to start changing the conversation when it comes to that topic all right i would have loved to say that is not a portion but like nimi said it is inevitable so we <laughs> We're all going to die one day, but death is not a portion this year. So, really? Nollywood actress Chidima Aneke has stated the obvious by writing on social media No man can stand a disrespectful woman, no matter how beautiful she is, as such a lady's bad character will always piece a man off. Hmm. I see you shaking your head already. You Personally, for me, I feel like it's basically nobody. It's not a man or woman like conversation. Mm. Nobody can stand a disrespectful person. Thank I've seen you. some, some, you know, like if you want to give relationship advice, they'll be like, um, women respect your man, oh, man, man will this. love you. I'm mm. like, that love and respect, God, they work hand in hand. You know, you, you, don't, you don't love somebody and then you disrespect them. So it's not, it's not a case of, oh, I love you, but I'm going to disrespect you. It's simple. Nobody can stand a disrespectful person. Anybody that has a bad character is not going to go far. It's not, it's not a thing that, that oh, it's peculiar to just a particular gender. It's not a thing that is, that is a, it's not a woman's thing. Mm. So I, I kind of get where she's coming from, but I also don't really agree because I feel like it's, it's a person, it's a, it's an individual thing. It's not really a gender thing. It's not a man or woman thing. It's more or less like individuals. If you're a disrespectful person, nobody's going to want to be around you. It's simple. 
Yeah, as you know, I would do it right here. We're never gender biased. So whether you're a man or you're a woman, you need to keep your respect game on the A+. plus Because yes. if you disrespect anybody, nobody... Respect is reciprocal, like exactly. they say. So if you respect me, I give you respect. If you disrespect me, some of us will come back with disrespect. You yeah. know, and a bad, a bad and attitude, a bad is, attitude you is unattractive to, check, to everybody. So it's not... You need to also check your character in relationship, especially the women that are fond or maybe... But you need to also understand your woman what you may consider as disrespect is not what a lot of men may consider as disrespect so try to understand get to know your spouse before you your even partner. get into a relationship sure. and once that is done once the understanding is there maybe to some people you may seem like ah oh, why would you let her talk to you like that but if you have a good understanding with your woman you'll be like no we're cool like that she mm. can talk to me like that you understand like be marry your friend or date your friend. Don't date somebody that is demanding. You must respect me. You must kneel down when you serve me. When you talk to me, you cannot use such language. You cannot mm. know. But if you know you have a bad character, like within yourself, you know you have a bad character, the best thing is speak to somebody. See a therapist if you have to. And, and work therapist. on yourself. And be of your best behavior, yeah. whether you're a man or a woman but yeah. i think every good thing must definitely come to an end but trust me when i say this tea time will be right back with a brand new episode thank you for watching and remember you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our youtube channel at plus tv africa you can also watch tea time on outer tv and in london on ben television big shout out to my co-anchor Nimi Dekombi, and the entire production team for holding me down. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Afeolu Oshike. Stay home and stay safe.